sense of who's in the room. Okay, so how many brands do we have here? Excellent. I'll be talking to you as well. Agencies? Creators? Okay, another, another interesting people. Okay, cool. So we'll cover, we'll cover all that. So let's, let's dive in. Did you guys get me the clicker too? Clicker? There it is. Thank you. Perfect. All right. So uh, I don't want to bore you guys with a bunch of presentations. So we're, we're in the YouTube advertising business. We're a tech firm in the advertising business. And I can bore you with a lot of product slides. I'm, I'm going to do some of that, uh, but I'll talk around it. But you know, our whole game is really using data. We've been at this game of YouTube for over five years. We've seen everything, we've seen every trend, we've seen everything else, but you know, as we build into this, what, you're gonna, what we're gonna talk about is really the importance of technology and advertising. And who asked the question earlier about advertising? Somebody was complaining about advertising. I don't wanna see ads. No, you don't wanna see ads that suck, okay? You wanna see ads that are relevant to you. And one of the things that we see quite a bit are ads that, you know, frankly, just don't, that just don't work. So I'm not gonna bore you with the stuff we serve a lot of the big brands and a lot of the agencies. The YouTube world and the video marketing world is changing quite a bit. So when you look at media, you can't just go online anymore and just buy some media. There's a whole science behind it. We're gonna talk about, we're gonna talk about that today. So we have two sides of the equation. We have the creators, and they get a lot of the attention. They're doing some amazing stuff. As we heard earlier, the creators have a lot of credibility. And then we have the advertisers, the brands in the agencies trying to sync up with the creators. And that is not an easy task. What happens is, well, let me go after XYZ because he or she has all the views, and that might not be the best thing for you. So how many channels are active on YouTube? Give me, give me a guess. 500,000. Anybody want to top that? 10 million is too high. 2.6 million are active, regular uploads of content. Lots of videos. Do the math. So which ones matter to your brand and which ones play? So what we're going to talk about for the next 10 or so minutes is really about connecting them all. So the challenge, as you see with advertising, is time. It can be quite difficult. Risk. And there's always risk with advertising. That's why a lot of people stick with TV, because they feel, still feel there's risk in digital and on YouTube. And that's, that couldn't be more wrong. We're going to talk about some great, great campaigns. I will have some video, too. All right, let's talk about Puma. Anybody a Puma customer? Some great stuff. They're doing some wonderful things. So Puma had an active worldwide audience, especially when it comes to soccer and European football. So what they were looking at is they wanted to look at three things. They had a launch, they had a campaign with Arsenal, and they had, a, they had basically a rebranding campaign going on. And when they spoke with their agency, the whole thing was they were going to bet on YouTube. And they needed to know where to begin. So let's talk a little bit about their first, their first ad. And we're going to talk about advertising on YouTube to start off with. Phil, let's queue up. Let's do about you know, 15 seconds of this vid. Call not troublemakers for danger, risk, and potential fugitive Note status. Note the elements of the video. Obedience will be discouraged. Impatience rewarded. Let's stop there for a minute. Impossible so, over the years, one of the things that we're often faced with is somebody comes to Pixabilly and they say, hey, here's an ad that worked great on TV. Can you put it on YouTube and do amazing things? No. <laughs> okay, so well, what about Super Bowl ads? They do great. Th those aren't ads, that's entertainment. Okay, so those of you with a TV mentality, you bring it to your digital world, don't expect great things to happen. So with this particular ad and everything else, you know, what you're doing is with the journey, guide your audience on the journey. I oftentimes ask audiences, I asked this last year, I'll ask it again, what do you do after you watch a YouTube video? You watch another one. Marketers, are you listening? We're talking mind share here. This is a big deal. Guide them on their journey. 
So as you lay out your video ad, help them do something. I'm going to show some amazing stats in just a moment. So when you look at the, at the video world, I'm not going to go through the technical details, but the reality is there are lots of options out there. Now, for advertisers, you may think, well, if I'm in a specific business, we were dealing with a consumer packaged goods company, and they said, hey, our audience is watching sports. No, their audience of 18 to 34-year-old males were watching gaming videos. So everything you know about, you have to know where your audience is. Don't assume just because you have a product, you're looking for the product. Go where your audience is hanging out and deliver the value proposition there. So when we look at campaigns, determine where your audience is hanging out. And then take a look specifically, what are they reacting to? And again, this is, I'm showing some of the technology here. We're crunching a lot of data. We're crunching terabytes of data to place one ad. So analyzing everything. Again, all your assumptions, all your assumptions from linear, all your assumptions from print, and all your assumptions from 12 different people in surveys aren't just going to cut it anymore. It is a lot of data to analyze. What's the competitive environment? So on the left, we look at share of voice. We analyzed the beauty industry last year, and we just, you know, we did it again this year, but last year we found that the brands themselves had 3% share of voice. The creators had 97% share. They were much more believable. And when you analyze, you have to determine what's my share of voice, what's my competitive share of voice, and tie that all together and look at real-time trending. The tools that are out there aren't necessarily sophisticated. Okay, so running and doing enterprise-grade workflow. If you're going to do a YouTube campaign, it might not be one campaign. It may be hundreds of sub-campaigns. So there's a good deal of sophistication. So I want to get through the tech here and then get to the meat. So with every campaign, it's in real time. Things, especially in the YouTube world, and we're also starting to see in the Facebook world, is things are changing dynamically. What's hot today might not be hot tomorrow. So you can't, when you start looking at advertising, you have to take a look at it in such a way that it's going to change daily so you can't just walk away from it. So let's talk about the cycle. You're going to create content that's good. And what we're talking about is advertising and what we say paid amplification. Okay, This is really important because in order to get great organic, it's all going to tie together. Organic amplification, you know, the usual stuff, we're not going to go into it here, you know, things like SEO. But ultimately, you're doing them right, you're getting engagement. We still see a lot of organizations treat YouTube as, let me dump some stuff there. Your YouTube audience engages. They're going to interact with you, interact back. Okay, those comments that we hear about that are terrible, you've got to respond. Your result is going to be better targeting once you look at your engagement statistics and you're going to get the SEO benefits. So you're paid, owned, and earned feed off each other. And if there's a takeaway here, when you look at YouTube, the effect of a YouTube paid strategy on organic ultimately is dramatic. So with Puma, so Puma's challenge, product launches, rebranding, and then new packages with a lot of their European football. Let's, let's roll what happened with Puma. In July 2014, global sports brand Puma and the renowned Arsenal Football Club launched the biggest brand partnership deal in the history of either organization. Three brand new Puma football kits worn by Arsenal players. To spread the news and promote sales of the new football kits worldwide, Puma turned to YouTube's passionate football community. Through an analysis of YouTube's social data, the brand was able to identify 4 million YouTube videos popular with its target audience of international male football fans ages 7 to 34. Software focused that list to 120,000 specific video placements selected by the highest number of football fan comments, shares, likes and views. With data driving its placements, Puma launched its Arsenal pre-roll campaign on YouTube in 25 countries and 9 key languages. After just six weeks, Puma's historic YouTube ad campaign delivered over 3.5 million views from a highly engaged 89% male audience. 53% of viewers went on to watch additional content on Puma's this channel after seeing an Arsenal ad. 
Puma's campaign accounted for 4.5 million minutes of video watch time and 393 million impressions. Thousands of YouTube community members liked and shared Puma's Arsenal videos and subscribed to the brand's YouTube channel. The rise in audience engagement attributable to the campaign was impressive, with 271% increased likes, 2,315% increased comments, 3,293% increased shares, 596% increased views, and 396% more minutes watched on Puma's channel. Puma leveraged YouTube's social data to attract and engage a specific community on YouTube. And the Arsenal campaign emerged as Puma's top performing campaign of all time. So for those of you who are on the fence, I can't share the product numbers that came out of this. For those of you on the fence, these new YouTube campaigns perform amazingly well. The statistic that you saw, so those of you who were skeptical about ads, on this campaign, we had a 53% follow-on watch rate. They went and watched organic content. On another campaign, 63%. So it goes back to targeting, it goes back to relevant content. So for those of you looking at, hey, is this going to work for me? It absolutely does, and we see this all the time. So again, you know, going through this, and I'm, as I wrap up here, I'm gonna take some questions. Targeting, dynamic campaigns, YouTube, and guide, guide them on their journey. When you bring them back to your page or your YouTube channel, give them relevant content. They're going to stick around. We've seen instances, and by the way, when they come back to you, you may have paid for the ad, but when they come back to your channel, you may get you know, 10 free views for all the other videos. So it really makes, it really makes a big difference. 61%. The views themselves, what we found from paid, unlike other campaigns where you do paid, and the campaign ends and you're back to where you started, on YouTube, you run a campaign, you've actually increased your number of subscribers. And it tends to build upon, it tends to build upon itself. So again, what we've been able to prove, not just with Puma, but with other brands, again, effective advertising using technology performs you know, incredibly well. And all the data is here. So if you want more information, I'm going to take some questions. We oftentimes analyze how brands perform. Uh, we just released this in conjunction with YouTube about two weeks ago to say, hey, what's the trending right now? And what we're starting to see is, is for the first time, especially over the past 18 months, we're starting to see brands take in their agencies, take the advertising a lot more seriously and pour a lot more, a lot more juice on it. Okay, so that's a quick run through. I'm going to be around all day if there's more questions. Again, we didn't want to bore you too much, but you know, the takeaway, obviously, is that the YouTube advertising game works. It works effectively well. Needs a little bit of technology juice, but the results can be absolutely stunning. And I would argue nothing better these days than this.